Good morning, beautiful soul pleasers. Many of you are waking up, which is why you feel drawn to my videos, but we don't always wake up just once. In fact, the majority of us don't. So for those of you who know the work of Eckhart Tolle or Byron Katie, you'll know that they had an experience where they woke up all in one episode and all of a sudden were able to let go of all of their limiting beliefs all in one foul swoop, which sounds really exciting, but I guess that's just for the few of us. For the rest of us, we gradually, one at a time, become conscious of our patterns that are caused by our limiting beliefs. And so one of my favorite things is when I'm working with a client and I get to witness them become aware of something for the first time. So wake up to it, become conscious of it. I was speaking to a client during the week and I praised him genuinely. He did something amazing and I told him and I was able to observe the physical flinch that he had because he is unable to receive praise. And his limiting belief is that it's important to be humble, which of course is a beautiful characteristic, but it stops him from re receiving praise. And then interestingly, when we went a little bit deeper, he realized that it also stopped him from giving praise. So he realized, I don't need praise, so why should other people need praise? Um, and in his position of leadership, obviously genuine praise is a really important part of his role. So this was an incredible breakthrough for him. And the other thing that I thought was fascinating about it is that he's come to a place where he doesn't need praise. And the interesting thing about that is when I'm talking about people pleasing, often we people please because we do need recognition to come from outside of ourselves. And so the goal is to get to a place where you don't need anything from outside of yourself. And in fact, goal is the wrong word because it's really just a remembering that that's the truth, that you don't need anything outside of you because it's actually within you. And so when you come to this place, you will no longer need praise, but you will be able to receive it. You'll be able to gracious, graciously give praise and receive praise and give of all things. And simultaneously, you'll receive it because you'll understand that we're all one. So if you feel like the waking up process is a continual one, then you're not alone. And so I just want you to embrace that and enjoy it and bless it.